Good afternoon, y'all. Welcome back to the shop. Stayed up late last night working out here. Did a lot of work on the boxes. And uh, we're getting really close to time to assemble. But we've had a few things happen along the way that have slowed us down and working on them means that the boxes are gonna end up in a lot better shape. Rona's here with me again, thank goodness. So, last night I used the joiner to smooth the edges. This is my joiner. It's a nice long bed joiner. I used it to smooth all the edges of all the plywood. And I finished all the rabbiting work to rabbit the corners together, except I have decided to go ahead and rabbit the bottoms. And I'm gonna do that now. So these are the bottom pieces, all one piece. These are the tops. There's a large lid that's gonna obscure the cells and a smaller lid that will hinge in the different direction that will provide access to the BMS and fuse and connections. So, the other thing I did last night is I set up the drill press and I just use a cheap, easy fixture for laying out the holes. And I drilled all the holes for the rods that are gonna restrain the battery. And that's the point where I had to decide that I was gonna rabbit the bottom into the sides because at that point I needed to offset these holes three-eighths of an inch from the board that's going to restrain the battery. So this is the board that's going to be clamped snug up to the battery cells to keep them from expanding. And it needed to be three-eighths of an inch offset if my intention was to rabbit the bottom piece into the sides, and that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to do that next. In the meantime, all the holes are drilled. And the way this will work, this is the back piece of the box, and there will be a T-nut that goes through this hole from the back side, and then the rod will thread into it on the inside. And there'll be a pair down each side of the battery packs. The battery packs will be set up in two parallel configurations. There'll be 16 batteries in series, but they'll be in two rows of eight. And that will allow the box to be a shape that works better for us. So my old drill press gave up the ghost, motor burned up. So I had to go get the, the backup drill press. And this one's not quite as nice, but it works. So I had to go out and get that and bring it in, get it set up. And then I started these dado cuts, these rabbiting cuts with a dull dado blade, but that ended up being a terrible idea. It worked, but the farther I went, the more that dull blade was giving me fits. So we went and got a new dado stack. I guess that last one lasted me 
all those years. This will probably be the one that lasts me for the rest of my life. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video showing you how we run the, the bottom piece with a dado all the way, a rabbit all the way around it. And then after I do that to 12 lids, or 12 bottoms, it'll be time to assemble. Maybe that's what I'll do when I stay up into the wee hours tonight working out here. It's a spicy day here in Texas. About 100 degrees, a little humid. All right. Well, looking at this tripod, I think I might have to move it a little bit, give myself room to finish that cut. That looks better. Away we go.
what I found was that these weren't even because I apparently wasn't pushing down hard enough as I entered the cut, but I was pushing down real hard when I had exited the cut. So I needed to go back down and start the cut on each of them to clean those up. So now I have now I have a real nice rabbit all the way around. Oh, Rona just loves the air. If she thinks she likes the air, boy, she really loves the water hose. Woo, man, she attacks the water hose. All right, well, let's stack one up and see how it looks. And then we'll stop this video. I need one each of these and two of these. See if it goes together. We'll call this the front and this the rear. So that goes to the rear. Oh. oh, yes, that is just going to be lovely. A little glue. Some small pin tag nails. I'll show you how that looks. So The joints look like this. And inside looks very nice. These are the holes for the rods that will restrain the batteries. And then up towards the front. You'll have this small door. What'd you find, Rona? What do you see? Is it a bird or a cow? Usually a bird or a cow. Go get that bird. Okay. So when this door opens, inside will be the BMS with its display, the fuse, the T-class fuse. And then there'll be the big door here, which will open to expose all the cells. And somewhere about here will be the end of the cells. There will be two rows of cells here. So that's how they're going to go together. I think the next time we talk, we'll be assembling, or maybe we'll just have a big stack of boxes ready to finish. 
that's going to be the next project. We'll be looking at we'll be looking at applying finish. We're going to use a lacquer finish on it. This time of year in Texas, we need a finish that dries really quickly because oh my goodness, because the heat is so bad, and so. Um, and the bugs, the bugs are really bad. So if you've got a finish that has a lot of open time, the bugs are gonna settle into it. You can't apply it during the daytime because it's too hot and at night, the lights attract the bugs. So we're gonna use a lacquer finish and I'm gonna go ahead and start applying lacquer this evening to the lids and uh, while I'm while I'm assembling the boxes, I'll also be applying finish because there's going to be a lot of finish to apply. And um, I have to figure out where to do it so that Rona's not affected by it and Rona doesn't affect it. All right. Y'all have a good day. See you on the next video.